Greetings, fellow lifelong learners. Today, we're embarking on a journey that will take us to the heart of one of the most enigmatic disorders of our time, Autism Spectrum Disorder. This is a condition that affects millions of people worldwide, and yet it remains largely misunderstood and shrouded in mystery. In this first episode of the Demystifying Disability video series we will be taking a deep dive into the history, demographic statistics, symptoms, and side effects of autism spectrum disorder. We'll explore the nuances of this neurodevelopmental disorder and take a closer look at the challenges that individuals with autism spectrum disorder face. In the upcoming episodes, we'll examine the media portrayals of the condition and delve into the specific phenomena and terminology that would explain life for those living with autism spectrum disorder. Our goal is to increase awareness and understanding of this condition, and to provide valuable information on diagnosis, treatment, and support. So, are you ready to unlock the secrets of autism spectrum disorder and embark on this potentially transformative journey with us? Let's get going then. Part 1, History Before we delve into how autism spectrum disorder can manifest, let's take a closer look at its history. The term autism was originally coined by Swiss psychiatrist Eugen Bleuler in the early 1900s to describe a symptom of schizophrenia. At that time, it was used to refer to individuals who displayed self-isolation and a lack of social interaction. However, it wasn't until the 1940s that American child psychiatrist Leo Kanner began using the term autism to describe a specific group of children who exhibited similar symptoms, including social isolation and language delays. For many years, it was believed that autism spectrum disorder was solely caused by bad parenting, due to so-called refrigerator moms. However, in the 1960s, researchers began to realize that this was not the case, and that it was, in fact, a neurodevelopmental disorder. It wasn't until 1980 when the third edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders DSM was released that autism was recognized as a separate diagnosis, leading to the concept of an autism spectrum. And since 2013, the DSM-5 introduced a single diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. This replaced the former subcategories of autistic disorder, Asperger syndrome, childhood disintegrative disorder, and pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified. Today, we have a much deeper understanding of autism spectrum disorder as a complex condition that affects social communication and behavior. Although there is no cure, as such, early intervention and therapies can help individuals with autism lead fulfilling and productive lives. Through this knowledge and understanding, we can provide the necessary support and care to those on the autism spectrum. Part 2. Demographic Statistics Worldwide, the prevalence of autism spectrum disorder is estimated to be around 1 in 100 children, according to the World Health Organization. However, there are significant variations in prevalence rates between different countries and regions, with some studies reporting rates as high as 1 in 36 children in the United States. In Australia, there were estimated to be around 205,200 people with autism in 2019 a 25% increase since the previous survey in 2015, with males being 3.5 times more likely to be diagnosed than females. The prevalence of autism spectrum disorder is similar across different regions in Australia. However, there are some differences in the age of diagnosis and access to support services between different states and territories. The reasons for the higher prevalence of autism spectrum disorder in the USA and Australia compared to other countries are not entirely clear. However, there are several factors that may contribute to the higher rates of autism spectrum disorder diagnosis in these countries, including Improved awareness and diagnosis, both the USA and Australia have well-established healthcare systems and educational systems, with a focus on early identification and intervention for developmental disorders. This may lead to more children being identified and diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Changes in diagnostic criteria, over time, the criteria used to diagnose autism spectrum disorder have changed, which may have led to more people being identified with the condition. For example, the introduction of the concept of an autism spectrum, as opposed to just a single diagnosis of autism, may have broadened the criteria for diagnosis. 3. 
Environmental factors. There is some evidence to suggest that environmental factors may play a role in the development of autism spectrum disorder. For example, exposure to certain chemicals or pollutants during pregnancy or early childhood may increase the risk of autism spectrum disorder. In terms of age, autism spectrum disorder is typically diagnosed in early childhood, with the average age of diagnosis being around 4 years old. However, many people with autism spectrum disorder may not receive a diagnosis until later in life, especially if they have a milder form of the condition or if they belong to a marginalized community. Overall, it's important to recognize that autism spectrum disorder affects a significant number of individuals in Australia and around the world, and that efforts to promote awareness, understanding, and support for people with autism spectrum disorder can have a positive impact on their lives and well-being. Part 3. Symptoms The symptoms of autism spectrum disorder can vary widely in their severity and presentation. Some common signs of autism spectrum disorder include delayed speech or language skills, difficulty with social interaction, difficulty making eye contact or reading social cues, repetitive behaviors or movements, intense interests or fixation on certain topics, and sensitivity to sensory stimuli such as sounds or textures. Children with autism may have difficulty in making friends and maintaining relationships with others. They may also struggle with changes in routine and have a strong need for predictability and structure. Some people with autism may have co-occurring conditions such as anxiety, depression, or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It's important to remember that autism is a spectrum disorder, meaning that there is a wide range of presentations and symptom severity. Some individuals with autism may require significant support throughout their lives, while others may be able to live independently and succeed in various aspects of life. An early intervention program for a child with autism starts with a thorough assessment of the individual needs, strengths, interests of the child and any developmental delays. This can include therapies to support areas identified as important and meaningful to the child and family, with goals often around supporting social communication, emotional regulation, and motor skills. Part 4. Side Effects While the symptoms of autism can vary from person to person, some common side effects include difficulty communicating, socializing, and engaging in repetitive behaviors. In addition to these core symptoms, people with autism may also experience co-occurring conditions, known as comorbidities. These can include 40 to 60% of autistic people having anxiety, 60 to 70% having attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and 20 to 30% having epilepsy. Some individuals with autism may also experience seizures, sleep disorders, and gastrointestinal issues, such as constipation and diarrhea. These comorbidities can significantly impact the daily lives of individuals with autism and their families, and may require additional treatment and support. It's important to note that each person with autism is unique, and their experiences and needs will vary. By understanding the side effects and comorbidities of autism, we can better support and advocate for individuals with autism and help them lead fulfilling lives. Conclusion Thank you for joining us in the first part of the journey through the world of autism spectrum disorder. We hope that this series has provided you with valuable insights and information about this complex condition. Autism spectrum disorder affects a significant number of individuals worldwide, and it's essential to promote awareness, understanding, and support for people with autism. Remember, early intervention and support can make a significant difference in the lives of individuals with autism. If you or someone you know is living with autism, know that there are resources available to help. We hope this series has inspired you to learn more and advocate for individuals with autism. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content, and we'll see you in the next video.